Hey everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a Desmos graphing calculator onto a Canvas quiz. I know, exciting, right? So here's the first thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna open up my web browser and I am already in my Canvas course. So this is my Canvas course. So let's go ahead and jump straight to it. Let's put that calculator in a quiz. Now, you could start this with a brand new quiz. Uh, for the purpose of this, what I'm gonna do is go to modules and I'm going to open up an existing quiz. So here on this homework assignment, 1.1, right triangle trig sides, uh, my students did not have access to the Desmos calculator. So what I'm gonna do is just update this so that they have access to it next time. So I'm gonna open it and I'm going to go to edit. I know I did that kind of quickly, sorry. So here you have the title for your quiz and then you have quiz instructions. Here's what's important about the quiz instructions. These show up for every single question. Now, if on your quiz settings, you have this, show one question at a time. If this is not checked, then your instructions go at the top of the quiz and then all of your questions are underneath. Well, since I'm providing my students with a calculator, I like to select one question at a time. That way they have access to that one calculator for each individual question and then they're not having to scroll to the top of the page, type in their work, scroll to the bottom of the page, like all the way down to question 19, just to submit what they're doing. So I'll show one question at a time. I do not lock because I, this is homework, so I want my students to be able to go back and check their work. So here under quiz instructions, this is where we're going to embed our calculator. So you see, I already have port up Desmos. You can go to Google and just type in Desmos. Uh, you'll come here. If you've used this calculator before, it is a fantastic option. It is great. It can do literally everything. It is one of the coolest tools you can use as a math teacher. Uh, what my students are currently doing right now is right triangle trig, so their calculator needs to be in degree mode. So if I hit this little toolbar, I already have it in degrees. Uh, normally it's in radians, but I'm gonna make sure mine is in degrees. Now, if you haven't played a whole lot with this, this is your typical zoom that they're going to be in. If you're doing something like Algebra 1 and you know that they only need a window from negative 10 to positive 10 and a y-axis window from negative 10 to positive 10, you can restrict that here. Uh, if they have very bright screens, you could do the reverse contrast if you'd rather work with this. Uh, if you're, you know, graphing your radians, you know, you have your radians. So, you know, I'm kind of preaching to the choir here because I know so many people in here already use Desmos. But I have it in degrees, I'm gonna close this, and then I'm going to hit save. So it will save the settings that you just selected. So now this graph is saved being in radians. So I'm gonna take this URL and I'm going to control C and I'm going to generate an embed code. So here is uh, one of my favorite ones to use. Uh, it's not my favorite because it's super fancy. It's my favorite because it's super easy. So you just type in I frame generator. And then this is normally the very first link. Yeah, iframegenerator.com. This may be the easiest thing I've ever used. So right here, iframe URL, you just come here, control V, paste that link in, hit generate. There's your code. It has done it all for you. Let's copy it. I can come back to my Canvas quiz. Now, if you control V, you're not gonna do anything. <laughs> so an embed code only works in an HTML editor. So see right here, HTML editor. I need to go there and I'm going to embed my code. And now when I hit rich content editor, it will pull up my Desmos calculator. Ah, look uh, there. Now I can come down, show one question at a time. I'm gonna come down and hit save. So now when I preview this, they're gonna have one question at a time and they have access to a Desmos calculator in their homework. So see right here, determine the approximate value of X. Well, here's your angle, that's opposite over adjacent. So tangent of 62 equals X over four. So to find this answer, that's four tan 62. I can come up here, four tangent 62. There's my answer, 
Oh, look, there's my answer there. Now, I will tell you this. Since you're doing one question at a time, when you hit next, this menu is going to pop up and it's going to say, leave site, question mark. Changes you made may not be saved. We do not care. Canvas is very reliable. It is going to save the student's work. What it is not going to save is the Desmos work in the embedded calculator. So I'm going to hit leave. And then what it does is, is it clears everything in the Desmos calculator. So it's a brand new calculator for a brand new question. And if they go back to question one, the work on the calculator is not saved. Uh, I have not been able to determine a workaround behind that. If you are aware of one, I would love to know. Please leave a comment and let me know. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you embed that calculator. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And if not, well, then you can just keep your comments to yourself. <laughs> All right, y'all have a great day.